Okay, good morning everyone. We're going to do KR today. We have a lot of nice gaps today, but <clears throat> I like this one. Target's 48, 47.50, 47. Market's down. We had a wonderful discussion yesterday about the market and like magic. It did everything perfectly this morning, so love when that happens. Gotta love it. <clears throat> okay. One thing for sure, I don't want this to get over 50. So if I don't get a setup in KR, if I do not, I think I'm gonna do the SPY. Uh, we gotta get something here. Maybe we'll do two things. Okay, I'm flipping to the SPY right now. KR isn't ready. It's a bummer. Okay, I'm flipping to the cues. Stop's going to be 276.30. Let's do 275 by 30. And I'll go flip and look at KR. No, that's not ready yet either. No one should be in anything yet. No, no, it's not gonna work. Ah, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Well, the market's gonna work. All right, screw it. KR is off. No one should be in it. Didn't even call anything in it. I'm gonna watch two things, the spy and the cues. <clears throat> Beck, let's watch the spy. Let's watch the spy. I like this better than the cues. So just gotta wait. We're definitely going to roll over today, though. No chance at all this holds today at all. The fact that people would even attempt to buy it is completely lunacy. Okay, stop's going to be 37150. Let's do 99 by 50, 99 by 50, spy. Only the crazies are going long today. And we're definitely not crazy here. So maybe this sets up, maybe we wait a little bit. Either way, we're gonna stay on top of it. Okay, 99 by 50. In fact, let's do 99 by 60. 99 by 60 spy hasn't hit, we're waiting for it. 99 by 60. We're gonna get it. We're gonna roll over today. 100% conviction and no chance of failure. 99. We're doing 99 by 60, people. And don't jump the gun. We'll talk about targets later. Let's get it. Get it. Get in that sucker right now. 60. All right, let me. Crap, should we do two things? You know what? We should. Because I don't know if we're doing anything tomorrow. 276.60. You can do this with a stop at 276.60. The cues. It's late. It's late. It's late. It's late. It's late. You could do one thing. You could do two things. You can do whatever you want. I don't know if we get a trade tomorrow. I have no idea. We didn't do anything the last two days. That was the right thing to do. There wasn't anything good. But what if we don't get anything good tomorrow? So, all right, here we go. 
369, 368, 367. Where do I think we could go today? Which is not crazy, not dream, not insane, totally realistic. 365. Not that we're going to be in this this morning, Fiddler. Here we go. We just broke 275. Let's watch for 272. So 272, we're going to watch for, you, for in the queues here to get out of the stage train. And around 367-ish here for the spy. What happened to KR? <clears throat> that is a shame. That's so weird. All right, here we go. So I did two things today. Why? One, they're both going to work. And two, I don't know what we get tomorrow. So we have to take advantage of the opportunity. It's not earning season. It's going to be slow probably the next two weeks. Then it'll be July 4th. Then we'll come back. Then earning season will start. And then we can rock and roll again into the summer. Here we go, spy. <laughs> we got to watch 273. And we got to watch 369, 368. Okay. Let's double check our stops. So 276.60. 371.60, I think, is good for both. No institutional money is going to buy this today. It's all selling coming in, people. I watched yesterday, but remember what I said. I ha I do have the chat on today. Does that did anyone listen to me yesterday? What did I say? What did I say about the market yesterday? As far as the Fed announcement, what did I say? Does anyone remember what I said? Anyone? Okay, no one remembers or no one's talking. Shelly, what did I say about the market yesterday? Or the Fed? I said, what about the Fed? Carrie doesn't remember. Well, at least you're honest. <laughs> one day I will breathe clearly. I hope it's tomorrow. Jeff doesn't remember, and Jeff, you should be writing down every single thing I say and committing it all to memory so you don't go off the rails. Shelly, Shelly gets the gold star. Shelly remembered. Shelly's doing good. It didn't matter what the market did after the announcement anyways. Even if we rallied, we're going down anyways. Shelly remembered. So good for Shelly. And I was right. So, did I expect we tanked today? I really didn't know. <laughs> but when I got up and saw it, I wasn't surprised. That, I didn't even look at the data. Hold on, I'm taking this off for a second. I think the number was bad. Let's just see what it was. We had unemployment claims here. <sighs> Natural gas at 1030. We're going to be out of this by then. Here we go. So basically, it wasn't that terrible. It was higher. But again, that's three consecutive weeks of higher than expected data and numbers for unemployment claims, which I did say on my hit on CBS the other morning. That's going to be the problem when companies start laying people off. Here we go. Also, the Fed has lost all credibility when they said a month ago that they'd only raise rates a half a percent and then switch their mind at the very last minute. Who's going to believe what they say any time other than that or even now? No one. So that's a problem, too. Now, I'm going to tell you my plan of action. Woo! Decided to do th two things. Going to get a nice flush in this here. Going to get a nice flush in the queues and get out of everything in one fell swoop. 
Good decision to do two things today. Why? We may do nothing tomorrow. And I'm not going to care because we're doing the right thing every day. We get up, we rate the gap. If there's something good, we trade it. If there's not, then we don't. Then we don't. So as far as this goes, though, if you really want to trade all day, if that's what you want to do, if you're in the options I called, if you really want to, you could trade these suckers down all day. I'm not going to be in a day trade all day here. Jeff, whatever works for you, you have one job to make money. Okay, you could be out here. This is bouncing off of the first number, 368. I still think it's continuous. I'm still in it. But it's bouncing a little bit. So this got to two seven, it got to both first numbers. So let it bounce a little. Then we're going to get one more drop, and we're going to be out. But theoretically, you could be out. Jeff, I think the only way you make money is if every single trade that I call works. <laughs> because if I call five options, four work, huge, and one doesn't, you will do the one that doesn't work. That's you. So the only way you do well is if every trade that I call works. That's basically <laughs> sort of, I mean, that we were talking about sizing the other week. Like nobody cares about sizing when every single trade that I called works. But that's not reality. It's not reality. So, you know, come on. Here we go. No chance of failure today for the market to drop. Boom, 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 boom. So where's the big number? Where's the crazy number? Where's the huge number today? Like I said, 365 and a break of that, who knows, into the close. Two o'clock, four. I mean, this is completely. <sighs> you could have done one thing, you could have done two. I would hope that you would have done something today. This is even trying to go, even though it's weird and it's strange and it's bizarre and it doesn't make any sense. I looked at that rally in BA after I regretted not doing it. Here's Apple. We didn't do this, but look at it. And I said, D are you serious? Like, who would buy this? And yet people did. And I regretted not doing the trade Monday. Of course, I would have been out of it. Looks like there was news on Apple, was there? Okay, let's pay attention here. 942. 942. I don't have any more data till 10.30. That's a long way away. Let's see if we can get one more push here down into 10 o'clock. Just take this off and check one thing. And again, the fast trade, you could be out super quick. And I could have done that today because I did two things into the first target with both things, but I honestly believe that we're lower. And I don't know if we're doing anything tomorrow. Let's look and see if there is anything tomorrow at all. And I just want to get one more push. Oh my gosh, we have Adobe. That's strange. Adobe earnings are tonight. I had no idea. That's funny. Well, we do have one thing to look at. So that's good. <sighs> so we have Adobe earnings. And then we have next week. Monday could be slow. I'll try to think of a topic. Oh, Jeff wanted to go over our entries. We'll go over Jeff's question from yesterday, Monday, if we don't trade. We might do Adobe tomorrow, so we might have to trade Friday. Gonna just mentally prepare myself so I take the right action because the right action is so critical. And we're taking the right action today by doing two things, by holding them, all of the above. Here we go.
Here we go. The fact that people with galamis here are all the people in the world that have no understanding whatsoever of gaps. They think this was going to do a gap fill. They think this is going to hold on to support. They think many, many things like the market can't keep going down. The Fed is going to save us from a, re a recession and save us from everything else. So they think a lot of things, a lot, a lot, a lot, and they're all wrong. And we're right. So who's right in the trade? The one that makes the money. Okay. So we did not have a big bar yesterday. We didn't have a big bar the day before. We had a medium bar on Monday. It was decent, but it wasn't huge. So we could have a big bar today. I don't think it's gonna be small. It could be medium to large. I would love it to be huge. Nine forty-five. Who is in what? Who got out of things? Who's doing what? Let's take a look at our stops. So two seventy-six sixty. Even though we were late, we had a great entry in this. Three seventy-one sixty. We did get to both targets here. The first targets. Could have got out of one and I didn't. Let's see what happens here, people. Also, what did I say about the market? Tuesday we talked about the market, remember? Tuesday we talked about the market. Does anybody remember what I said about the market on Tuesday? We didn't trade Tuesday. What did I say? Shelly, do you remember what I said Tuesday? Spy is a lot weaker right now than the Qs. Oh yeah, we're lower. Look at this. Q's retesting the high. Market's trying to lift. Do I, did I miss my exit? No, I don't think so. But I guess I'm going to find out in the next 13 minutes. Next 13 minutes. I certainly hope I don't get stopped. I had great profit in both these things at the lows. And I wasn't being a pig or not getting out. But I did say fast summer trades. So I sort of didn't listen to my own rules here. I wanted a bigger move here today. And I know it's coming. Let's just see. Oh, we should have got out for the first fast trades. I need to remind myself that starting tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Very tricky. Did anyone get out of either trade that I called. Both were certainly enough profit to get out of them. I just didn't. Jeff's in it. Okay.
Gerard got out of a little. Gerard, even AWOL, is worried about the chickens. It's a good read here on this market. It's a good read on the GAT. And it's a good read on the chart. But it is to be expected that people will buy this for the reasons I just reiterated. They want to buy the GAT fill. They want to buy support. They believe the market can't go any lower. They think the worst is over. They think that the Fed's going to get control of rates, prevent a recession. And they think that everything is going to get back on track. You had guests that didn't want to leave. That's funny. That's funny. What do you do when that happens? Well, it was, it's definitely been good weather. Good, good pool weather. It's been hot here. Ooh, look at this, people. You could have get out, but it's holding. Woo. Let's see if anything else is happening. I just took that off for one second. This is like, breathe. Holiday weekend, what's the holiday? Hey, who is in what? You could get out of this. I wanted to push down. I'm getting it, but I'm not getting the flush. 273.71. So this remains to be seen. Do we want to get out of this? Or do we want to hold both? Or what do we want to do? It's when the news of the emancipation reached Texas. Okie okay, doke. Oh, the last of the slaves. Wow, that took three years. 1862 to 1865. Okay, I'm talking about things that I'm not paying attention here. We broke the low in both things and I did not get out. Did anybody? but I didn't get the flush I was looking for. I am getting into 10 o'clock here. So maybe we should have got out of one if we still can get out of one and hold another one. Texas was the last state. Three years though, Whew. it's a long time. But you remember things were so strange back then. Like we can't exist without our cell phones. Like to see somebody, to talk to somebody in a different place, you had to mail a letter which went by horseback. I mean, we're so like spoiled now. The world was so different back then. <sighs> and we're so impatient as a society. We want everything yesterday. Like I want this to go and I'm getting impatient, but I'm trying to be patient because it's only 30 minutes here. Okay, we're getting down again. Let's pay attention. No more talking till we get out. and go, isn't it?
because the war dragged on yet. You know what? The, I don't know. Did anybody remember there was a mini series? It was a television mini series on like 20 years ago. It was like in the 90s. North and South. It was a great mini series. It was the beginning of Patrick Swayze's career and many other people. Huge cast in it. Elizabeth Taylor was in it actually as a cameo. It was a great mini series and I can't find it anywhere. They always run reruns of things, but not that. It was just a it was a great mini series. 20. Here we go. It was drama, it was murder, it was sex, it was educational about the Civil War. It was very entertaining. And it was like a three-part series. I mean, it was like 30 hours of programming to see where I could find that. Two seventy-three thirty. Two seventy-three thirty. Hmm. This got down to three sixty-eight twenty. And remember, we do have a number ten thirty. I'd really like to be out of this before then, but who's to say at this point? Because here we are. I wanted a flush. We're getting it down. We're up in the trades. We need a flush. See, that's something they should air like on this kind of weekend, like all the educational Civil War stuff. I went to Gettysburg College. I forget if I ever told you people that. It was all about the Civil War. My parents came to visit. I remember the one uh, Parents Day weekend we did. We went and did a tour of the Jenny Wade house. She was the only civilian killed in the Civil War at the Battle of Gettysburg. She was killed. A bullet went through her house or through the window or something killed her. And we toured the house and we did it like at dusk one night, like where it's kind of dark. It was in the fall before we went to dinner one night. And if you ever toured any of the Civil War anythings, their house is the, like they're really low f ceilings. If you ever toured anything, like the people were shorter back then. So you had to like bend your head to get in and stuff. And it was really eerie. Like after we left, we were all like, oh my God, there's definitely ghosts in there. Like it was like, it was like right at dusk and then it was starting to get dark and we did the tour before dinner and, and we, we, we all came out and we were like, okay, there was ghosts in there. <laughs> it was just like, like it was really eerie. I never did it. I regretted it. I went to the college. They used to have ghost tours. I used to always do it in the fall, and especially around Halloween, where they take you all around the campus and tell you everywhere where there's this ghost and that ghost, because some of the buildings that were in the, the university were hot, like one of the buildings was a hospital, it was a Civil War hospital, part of the campus. Here we go. Under 368. This is gonna be worth it, people. But we're not going to hold on too long. I said if you want to be in this all day, you can. We're going to get one push, like I said, and we're going to be out of this soon. So glad we did two things, especially now that I know Monday we're off. we go here we go we're gonna be out of this soon one more push one more push here we go through two, 273 come on there we go awesome out out of the queues I 
this to go over 80. Come on, let's see if we can get it under 70. Ow! That's it. Done, 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 done. Even though I think we fall all day, even though you can hold these all day, you definitely could. Woo! That little extra really counted. Started doing two things. We could have played a June Juneteenth song. What's a Juneteenth song? <laughs> We need to get back to our good luck music. I have to Google Juneteenth songs for tomorrow. But we could have Adobe. All right, let's take a look at Adobe for tonight. 